Hi, I'm Rob. Today we're going to talk about deployment with Rails. Now, in the bad old days, about 2005, it was really a wild, wild west for deployment. Nobody really knew what they were doing. Everyone just made it up as they went along. Apache and fast CGI are really the only ways to go, and that wasn't good. Today, there's plenty of options. We've got Mongrel, Thin, Passenger. There's a lot of documentation, even a book out there. But possibly the easiest way to deploy is with Heroku. And if you haven't seen it, you're going to see it now. Let's get started. So, believe it or not, you can deploy your app to a server on the internet with about three commands from the command line. We're going to see that now. So here's Heroku's website, and they actually show you how easy it is, just these couple commands. If you ever get lost, head for their docs. They've got great documentation and all the features. So let's get started. Switch over to our terminal here. And I'm going to be using Rails 3 here, but Heroku works just as well with Rails 2. Going to create our quintessential blog application. And we'll create our posts. Don't forget to migrate our database. Start up our server. This is all just local development here, but we'll test our app works. Let's create a post real quick. There we go. All right, so our app is local. We're running. We've got the ultimate blog. We're going to get it live. So let's head over here to our terminal. We're going to install Heroku. And doing this basically just gives you a really neat command line tool to interact with Heroku itself. There's some things you can do from the website, create yourself a new app and such, but you'll almost always work with Heroku through this command line tool. Okay, so let's check it out. Get a handy little help screen here with all kinds of commands. So the first thing we need to do is get our app into Git. That's G-I-T, Git. You are using source control, right? Git sort of an alternative to subversion. I already have git installed, so I'm going to git init. And that's going to sort of initialize git in our directory, as you can see there. And then we're going to add all the files we currently have. And then we're going to commit those files. So we're going to git commit. Okay, now our app is version controlled. Now we get involved with Heroku. So now we're going to create our Heroku app. We create. And you can specify a subdomain name. If you don't, in this case, they just genericize one for you. So there's Quiet Snow 23. And you'll see there it says Git Remote Heroku Added. So now from Git, the source control, I can push up to Heroku. And that's as simple as Git push Heroku master. So we're going to push our master branch to Heroku. Git creates a master branch by default. So there we see Heroku received our code, detected that it was a Rails app. Now it's going to install everything we need, or it needs, to run a Rails app. And there's launching our app, and there we go, we're deployed. So we'll take this URL, head over to Firefox again. And our posts. Uh-oh. What do we forget? Got to migrate our database. Heroku basically lets you run any rake task as if you were running it locally, so we're just going to go Heroku rake db migrate. Now if we reload, there's our site. So there we go. We successfully deployed an app to the internet in what, a minute, two minutes? So there you go. That's Rails deployment with Heroku.